Goodbye, old friend. And you get the Dragonfire Axe for it. Which I think was the weapon he used in Dark Souls 2. Oh, I need to use the one word. But yeah, got I think a plus seven Estus Flask now, which is quite useful because it's very useful actually to get a plus seven Estus Flask. Because the bosses in this part of the game actually get harder. Because you've got Aldrich. Yeah, oh, Aldrich. Actual Aldrich this time. Not. Not. Not a fake out like in. Uh, just a dog in your alley. And these are not looking. <laughs> Cookies. Ugh, I hate fighting Dark Souls dogs. Oh, this part is just. This is. Oh yes, I remember this room. You literally just have to run in this room. Nothing here to do, just run. I saw you. Crystal lizard here runs you to a trap. Oh, hello. God, oh, that would scare the shit out of anyone who hadn't played this game. And now we're in the water again. Ah, hello. <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> Sewer centipedes, you've got to love them. No, you don't. But yeah, that is something called the Sewer Centipede, which is the main enemy in this part of the game. If you haven't taken out the dog, it will come... The, the alligator dog, which is... I'm pretty sure I recorded. I can't remember what episode. It will come down and attack you alongside... What's in this water, which are Sewer Centipedes. There's an item here. You can see a few more sewer centipedes over there. Large soul, I'm a soldier. Now, I think there's a heal spell over there. Yeah, there is. If I remember correctly, there's a healing spell over here. By that slug. There's also a bunch of sewer centipedes. And it's always useful to take out sewer centipedes because these things are kind of annoying to fight. They're not annoying to fight, they're just persistent. And if you go for the item... Yeah, Grand Heal. Basically, a great heal spell. A really good healing spell. And you get it for free. If you do this, like that. Anyways, we're heading for that sewer entrance. Yes, I am doing the dungeon first. I want to get that pain out of my head first. I uh, yeah, the reason why is because I want to save uh I want to save uh Irafil. And let's face it, the only thing you save about by doing the dungeon second is anyways. There's nothing you say you don't lose anything by doing the dungeon second. Anyway, she had to go up here. Oh, he's here. And here's the, here's the next bonfire. Um, down there is where you go to get to the dungeon. There's a gank right off the bat, so I'm not going to go down there for now. Instead, I am going into 
to find my a few good friends and to actually fight through this sewer. Now, remember when I said they were called sewer centipedes? Take a guess what's the main enemy in this part of the game. In this area. Here they come. I pulled one of them. No. You do do a green blossom, so that's good. They're not hard to kill, it's just that they're annoying. But, oh, that's good. That's really good, actually. Budding green blossom. Mostly the... This area is just great for getting dung pies. And green blossoms, actually. So, if you want some green blossoms... This is the area to go. They they do drop green blossoms. He's awake. She's awake. Now, if you did send Grey Rat here without without either without you know his protection, he would fight. You'll find him dead in here, but. You know who that is. We know who that is. I know who that is. It's a little bit of sleep. My old friend. Go for the rest, my old friend. Oh, excuse me, I, I... It's rather warm in here. Well, well, has to... Oh, I... I <laughs> Emit force, a brilliant spell. I make a fine estus. Even we are and prime. Yes, Sigbru. To your valor. Long may the sun shine. Long may the sun shine. You basically get free as soon. Somewhere, somewhere. And even below the home of your that reminds me. Oh. Well, the only <laughs> Okay, so he's back to sleep. Here's some Esther soup if you ever need any. <laughs> yeah, your what's his name? Not Yorm. Yorm, that's one of them. If you know about the main cutscene of the game, which I did it, I skipped, but I know what it is. Oh yeah, this room. <sighs> A great chest. And an old friend. That's not a black knight. That's a silver knight. I'm, I'm just going to go through this. I'm going to go do this room now. Avoid the archers. Because there's archers at the top. Toss one of the old biggins. Here we are. I miss fighting these guys, to be honest. My second favourite area in the game is filled with these enemies, and these enemies almost entirely. Silver Knight set. Thank God I've started work towards the Silver Knight set. There's an archer up there, as you can see. A relic of an of a much more, of a better range. Yeah, they, these guys can still really knock the, the teeth out of you, so you have to be careful when fighting Silver Knights. They're not the they're not the easiest enemies to attack. Okay, 
so. Oh god, frostbite! I don't want to get frostbite a bit. That would. What? Well, it's, it does what it says on the tin, really. It gives you frostbite. More large titanite. Yeah, these guys are great large titanite farms. So yeah, avoid knocking out these jars. As best you can. Um. All of these are safe, which is great. A Divine Blessing, very useful. That's basically a full heal, and it gets rid of all status effects. Smo's Great Hammer. Now, if you don't know who Smo is, basically think of a beach ball. <laughs> and the Leo Ring. Oh, rest in peace, both of you. So many memories. Memories of pain and joy <laughs> from those two items. That is Princess Guinevere. She was the and the protagonist, oh, nice. She was basically, you, you found her in Dark Souls 1 in Anor Lond in a place called Anor Londo. She basically gave you something called the Lord Fest, which actually allowed you to fast travel in that game. That is Dran Lake Castle, I think. Looks like Dran Lake Castle. Yeah, that is Dran Lake Castle, because that's the Chandra. The painting doesn't curse you anymore! Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's the Throne of Want from Dark Souls 2. I can't remember what that is. There's the Painted World. It's only Dark Souls when you get stuck in a mess in a masterpiece. In the mess of a masterpiece. We keep going down here. And we're on Main Street. Yeah, this is why I love Irrefill so much. It's so big and it, and it and advanced. And like, you can go to a lot of places around this map, this area. And here come the dogs. Oh, shite! No! Get lost, dogs! Piss off, dog! Oh, this is why I don't like dogs in this game. Oh, they're so annoying. Yeah, that's why I don't like dogs in this game. They're so irritating. No one likes dogs. Oh. Yeah, these are some of these. What? I didn't kill it? Blood gem. That's good. That's a really good item, actually. Getting him. More dogs! Oh, come off it, you stupid hounds! Why the dogs in Dark Souls 2? What the hell? I couldn't move! Piss off, you stupid dogs! Oh, These fucking things! And they teleport as well. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, sorry about that screaming. Sorry if you. 
Yeah, I'll put a volume warning in the description saying, like, volume warning. <laughs> If you don't know, dogs in Dark Souls, especially Dark Souls 3, are renowned for being annoying. They were fine in Dark Souls 2 somehow. They were okay in Dark Souls 1. Like, annoying, yes, but not... In Dark Souls 3, though, they're just the worst things to exist. I shouldn't actually be screaming, I've got a sore throat. Like, I've got a cold, for fuck's sake. It's not Corona before you say anything. I've got and literally, I'm playing Dark Souls with a with a fucking cold. Uh, yeah. If you don't know, if you've never played Dark Souls, this whole that whole experience should explain why you should never like Doc in this game. Okay, let me just level up. I think I can take two levels this time. Yeah, two. <clears throat> Do I want to go for attunement? No. Strength. I'm thinking these two. Okay, I think. What's next? Did I bring anything? No. Oh, yeah, I've got. This off from the fire. So let's burn this off from the fire. Uh, oh, yeah, excrement ashes. I need to. Uh -huh. Gracious, let the... I only hope the... I think it's like more embers, dung pies. Which basically is shit. Literal shit. Um, and that's it. Execution set from killing Horus. There's a lot you can actually discover in Iberfield, so Green Blossom got a lot. Should have upgraded luck actually. To be honest, I forgot to upgrade luck. Oh well. Either way, I've got a lot of stuff here. More than enough. I think I'm going to call it here. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.